So A1 square root of 50. I want you to pay attention carefully here. I want you to pay attention very carefully. So the question says, without using a calculator, means you are not supposed to use a calculator at all. Determine between which two integers, okay, between, uh, so the following irrational numbers lie, then verify your answers by using a calculator. So you do the verification at the end. But you need to first do it without a what? A calculator. All right. For a while, just for a few seconds, right? Forget about the square root. Which perfect square is close to 50 and it is also greater than 50? Which perfect square is greater than 50 and it is close to 50? What? 64. Thank you. Once we identify that, then we also have to find its square root. Alright? Then, which perfect square is less than 50 but close to 50? 49. 49. So we'll put 49 here. Right? What this means is square root of 50 is between square root of 49 and square root of what? 64. But the square root of 49 is a 7. The square root of 64 is 8. Therefore, square root of 50 lies between lies between 7 and 8. 7 and 8 are the two integers such that square root of 50 is between those two integers. Are you following that? Then, but we have any question about that. No. If you don't have a question, then let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to move on and do one where we have got a cube root. That's the cube root of 45. Okay? So, the cube root of 45, like, which perfect cube is, is close to 45 and is also greater than 45? What? 64. So we need to find the cube root of 64. Then, which, which perfect cube is close to 45 but is less than 45? 27. So this is number 3 there. Right, so the answer we'll get here is the 3. And then we get to 4. Then we say, therefore, the cube root of 45 lies between 3 and 4. Sure, this is easy, isn't it? I'll give you a homework on that. Right, I'm gonna do let me show you one which is what a negative number. All right, let's do one with a negative number, then we'll do the one in your textbook as homework. Let's say you are you need to find two integers that are between say minus the square root of 35. Right. Now it's a negative number. Okay, this is negative square root of what? Of, th of 35. Now, when you are dealing with one which is negative, the thinking must be, must be slightly what? Opposite. So first, we need to know which perfect square such that when it's negative, okay, its square root which is negative is close to Minus square root of 35. 
Which perfect square? Okay, let's start with it as a positive. Which perfect square is positive and is very close to 35? Which perfect square is positive but very close to what? To 35? No. The closest. I said the closest. It's what? 36. Okay? Now, if we make the square root of 36 negative, what answer did we get? Negative 6, right? Then, which other perfect square is also close to 35? But it is less than what? 35. 25. What should be the square root of 25? Then if you make it negative, you get what? Negative 5. Now, which one is greater? Negative 6 or negative 5? Negative 5. So what we do here, we say minus the square root of 36. Remember, for the positive case, we were putting the largest of the perfect square on the other side. Now we are doing the reverse. So it will be minus the square root of 25. So here you get minus 6 is less than minus the square root of 35 is less than minus minus 5. Right? So we have got Okay. So if you are trying to find the negative of a perfect square, you must be very careful or the negative of a perfect cube. You need to be a little bit careful. All right.